and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today we are going to be talking about the book Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. I really like this cover, by the way. So Shiver is the story of two people. It's told from two points of view. There is Grace, who is just a normal human, and Sam, who is a werewolf. And it kind of shows them, and Sam becomes a human, and they fall in love. Typical paranormal romance. I have not read any, like, really, like, typical paranormal romance in a while, and I so I just figured might as well pick it up. I don't have anything better to read anyway, even though I do. But the beginning just really creeped me out. I don't know about anyone else, but it's basically just Grace telling she's just like, oh, there's this wolf that stands outside my house and stares at me and stalks me, and I like to hang out with it. And I'm just like, okay. And then she's just like, oh, I've been in love with him for six years, and I'm just like, you, you do, you do know that's a wolf, right? Not, not a person, a wolf. And after a while, um, the the thing with the wolves is during the summer they change into humans, and then whenever it's cold, they kind of refer back to a wolf form. But it's September, and then Sam, aka the wolf, shows up naked on her back porch because he changed. But the thing is, it's September, so it's not even the summer, and you don't really know why. And I mean, the first part of the book was just really, really cheesy. There was just some parts that reminded me literally like exactly of Twilight because she's kind of the new, like normal person who doesn't know what the heck's going on. He has to explain what he is and all this stuff. And then it's basically her just them just like making out and saying how much they love each other and stuff like that. I mean, it does get better towards the end. So now we're going to talk about characters. Grace. Oh, Grace. Where do I start with Grace? She was just annoying for the most part because she's just obsessed with Sam and she just does this annoying... She's just annoying. I don't know about anyone else, but she just really ticked me off after a while. Just like, Grace, just stop being annoying. I did like Sam, though, because he was really cute and really romantic and he liked poetry. Like, his favorite place in the world was the bookstore. I mean, if there is a guy whose favorite place in the world is the bookstore, like, just, I, I, I wouldn't even be able to deal with that. Like, that would just be the best thing ever. But, and then he reads her poems, and he, like, teaches her how to read poetry, and that was one of my favorite parts of the book, when they're sitting in the bookstore, and they're talking about books and poetry. And a, lot, there, a lot of the other minor characters really annoyed me, too. I did like Isabel, though. I did like Isabel. I don't know. I mean, a lot of cool characters in the as well, like Mortal Instruments and then this one, but she's kind of, she's just there too. But um, Grace's friends really annoyed me because it just felt like everyone else was just so oblivious and they didn't really have a part in it. And like at certain parts in the book, the author would bring up Grace's parents and how they don't really, how they kind of just neglect her. And I don't know why that was there. So now we are going to talk about probably the best part of the book, which was the ending. I I'm even going to say this. The ending almost made me cry. Almost. I mean, I just saw Safe Haven this afternoon, and I cried during that. So I think I've kind of hit my tear quota for the day. But sorry for the spoilers. You basically find out that Sam is its his last season of becoming human and he's going to become a werewolf again and he gets locked in the shed and he's going to become a werewolf and he's saying goodbye to grace and he's saying that he'd rather risk dying to stay human with her and oh my god it was so romantic and cute and i got a really 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 bad case of the feels and it was awful and then at the ending like and then kind of grace just sits around for a while and i understood it I kind of understood that. I didn't hate her for that. And then the ending on the last page, Sam comes back and standing on her porch. And that's where it ended, which is a big cliffhanger. So I have to go pick up the second book now. But yeah, if it wasn't for the last 100 pages, I would not read the second book. Overall, I think I would give this book a 3 out of 5. I liked the ending. The paranormal aspect was kind of interesting, but I felt like the beginning was really, really cheesy. I want to hear what you guys thought. As always, comment below. Who'd you like better, Sam or Grace? I don't know how anybody could really like Grace. But maybe there's someone out there. You never know. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.